From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Valley Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. Well, I'm excited to be offering you these neighborhood forecasts. And of course, this first one is going to be the Valley Neighborhood Forecast of the six that we have. Uh, of course, be sure to go to weathernorcal.com to check out all of those Valley Neighborhood forecasts. Of course, you can also see it on our 24-hour channel as well. I want to thank Everything Medical for sponsoring the Valley Neighborhood forecast. Take a look at our planner here for the rest of the evening and into tomorrow. Should top off somewhere close to 90 degrees. We actually still have some mild air that's in place. You see this trough of low pressure right here, the heat off to our east and west. This has really been the trend even since last week. Through this week, though, we're going to start to see some changes. This mild air will slowly shift eastward and heat off to the west will start to build in. That's this Wednesday. Then we go into next Thursday and Friday, and that heat begins to build in. Build in. Now, you may have been hearing about some triple-digit heat making its way here. It will be here. Here's July 1st through July 5th. There you can see really looking at, well, very good chances of seeing above normal temperatures here as we take you into the extended outlook. Let's take a look at future cast, take you into Monday, and there you can see those thunderstorms popping up in the mountains. However, it looks like we may even see a stray shower for places like Redding, maybe Red Bluff, and even Corning. We can't rule it out, but I think most of it will be in the mountains here. Then we go into Monday night. Still some activity here, as you can see, in the mountains east of the valley. Now let's take you on into Tuesday. Once again, we're seeing more thunderstorms popping up in the mountains, and that'll continue most likely even to Tuesday night. Now check this out. We're going to keep this trend even for your Tuesday, as I mentioned here. And then as we go into Wednesday... See that? See how things, we still have that chance for showers and thunderstorms. Then finally, by Thursday and Friday, we begin to see it all kind of move on out. Now we still have some of that fog along the coast here, but overall we're drying things out. But as I mentioned, warming things up. There you can see what it looks like out there for, uh, for your Monday. Temperatures in the upper 80s. I think many of us will struggle to get out of the 80s here for your Monday. You see about 89 for the city of Shasta Lake and Redding, 89 for Red Bluff, 88 for Palo Cedro, and temperatures will start to increase. It's getting a lot warmer out there. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast for Redding. We're 96 Wednesday, 102 on Thursday, up to 107 possibly as we go into next, next weekend. 